How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you for joining me on my last live. But I wanted to move on to topics because I got a lot of stuff I got to get done today. Uh, I have like three major projects that I'm working on behind the scenes that are extremely time consuming, but I'm very excited about. Them. So you'll know about them in the next couple of months. But today, for my second video, I wanted to talk about how society's shocking obesity myths are exposed, right? We've reached a stage in society where obese is considered very normal. And that is an extremely serious problem. And I mean, extremely serious problem. So yesterday I was doing my Alan Roberts thing and I was just going around social media and dropping, you know, honesty on everybody's channel. And I noticed this woman's video. So we are going to go over this one's video and then we'll, we'll talk and then do Q and A and then I'm out. But video file. Here it is. Now. Okay. So, and this is nothing against this woman, although I will say this. This woman is extremely pissed at me for being honest with her. Like, extremely upset at being, at being honest with her. Or me being honest with her. Like, very, very much so. So, let's listen to her. Guys, I'm about to crash out right now. And before I do that, I just need you to look, okay? No judgment. No meanness. Just look, okay? This is me at 5'2". Okay? Okay, hang on. Right there. I'm just letting everybody know that by visual observation between the front and the side, even while wearing what is clearly compression wear, right? Her waist to height ratio is over 0 0.6, right? Like her waist measurement, circumference, divided by her height, 5'2", 62 inches. I guarantee you her waist is over 60% of 62 inches. Guarantee you. Um, 62 inches, 60%. Like 37, her waist is 37 inches or more, right? So let's let's listen to her. Now this is not a shame game. Guys, I'm about to crash out right now. And before I do that, I just need you to look, okay? No judgment, no meanness. Just look, okay? This is me at 5'2", okay? Now this is not a shame game, but guess how much I weigh? 170. You're morbidly obese. You are morbidly obese by BMI. And by waist to height ratio, you are morbidly obese. 5'2", 170, with a waist to height ratio over 0 0.6, you're morbidly obese. And that's what I told her. And she got very upset. She needs to lose somewhere around 30 to 50 pounds. Uh, 170 at 5'2", especially if you have a petite build, which does look like she has, because uh, she has very low muscle mass, she should weigh somewhere around 120 pounds. She's 50 pounds overweight lately, um, to, for longevity purposes. Uh, but she thinks she's fine. When she's morbidly obese. And the problem is, I, and I want all of you in the comment section, like talking to yourself, thinking to yourself about how this is like, how serious this is in society. Like this woman does look average. That means average is obese. Everybody grasp that. Like her build is average for women. That means the average build for a woman their waist height ratio is over 0 0.6, which means they're morbidly obese. And as a newsflash, it's been that way for a long time. Uh, it's been that way for almost 10 years. And it's probably worse than what it was. The average is probably higher than that because that's the last time they collected that data, right? You are morbidly obese, woman. And I know you don't want to admit this. And if she watches this, it's because, like, she'll, I mean, she was pissed at me, blowing back and forth. And she was like, I don't care what you think. Like, you fucking commented 25 times back to me. I told you something basic, that you're 5'2", you need to lose 30 to 50 pounds because you are, in fact, morbidly obese. And I can visually see that your waist-to-height ratio is over 0 0.6. It, for your own good, you should recognize that you are unhealthy, period, right now. But she won't. 170. And the thing is, I've actually gained 20 pounds since last year. That's okay. That's not why I'm crashing out. No, it's not okay. At all. You should be crashing out about gaining 20 pounds in a year at five foot, two inches tall at your age for how well, for the musculature you have. You should be fucking freaking. You should be like, holy shit, what the fuck did I do to myself? You should be freaking the fuck out. I don't have an issue with, I have a little issue with that, but that's not, that's not my main issue. 
you should have a massive fucking issue with it because you're fat as fuck, actually. And you don't think you are. That's the problem. But you're morbidly obese. Waist to height ratio, BMI, every way. You're morbidly obese. So I started going to the gym in March. It's been four months. And today... You. Good for you. Today, I learned that I, like, I was lowering my body fat and I went right back to where I started. And I was like, what the heck? I've also gained 10 pounds since I started the gym. Six pounds of that is like muscle. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, you did not gain six pounds of muscle in four months, not even if you were on steroids. At your age, for being a woman, you did not gain six pounds of muscle in four months. You are not gaining over a pound of muscle a month in the gym. You're on crack if you think that. Uh, that is that is insane. That that is insane. That is that is no way that fucking happened. That is not physiologically capable possible. Like you are not some sort of genetic freak uh you did not gain six pounds of muscle period like to, it's it's so so wild it's so wild to even think that i'm like that's but then the rest the rest so i was thinking what what is different you're eating too fucking much that's what's different it's the food and the big difference is i stopped dancing when I was a measly 150, and I was my biggest weight back then, I was dancing. Which is still fat. One to three. You're five foot two. You should weigh like 120 pounds. Three times a week. And when I go out dancing, I dance at least two hours, if not more. But average was two hours. And the biggest reason I haven't been dancing is because I've been depressed. So the... Because you're fat. reason it's been hard for me to lose the body fat and the weight is because of stupid no it's an excuse it's an excuse and i know this sounds super fucking harsh depression is a real thing but it's you shouldn't use it as an excuse for anything because the very second you use your depression as an excuse for something it'll always be an excuse for it right i'm depressed so therefore i gotta eat ho-hos stop it stop it stop it you didn't gain weight because you were depressed you gained weight because you did not adjust your actions while being depressed like being depressed did not make you gain the weight you shoveling food into your fucking mouth, that's what made you gain the weight, okay? The depression may have been the reason why you were eating, but it didn't make you. Depression is not some entity that walked in and fucking started throwing fucking cupcakes in your face. Depression is something people do have, but it is your personal responsibility as a motherfucking adult to still not fuck your own life over or fuck society over, and you're morbidly obese, so you are, in fact, a burden upon all of society. It's, it's reality exists, you know? Listen, I've been very unmotivated to go back to dancing, but now I'm just angry. Now I'm just angry and I'm just like, this is, I'm not going down like. So in other words, you gained weight and are staying fat because of you. Like you're admitting it. You didn't gain weight because you were depressed. You gained weight because you got depressed and then ate a bunch. Like you didn't handle the depression in a healthy way. You got depressed and fucking ate a bunch. You're probably depressed because you're a 150 pound fucking woman at five foot two which means you're fat and being fat does cause depression. Oh. That's right. You used to, it's an excuse. That's all it is. This, this is not going to happen like this. So I'm angry and I'm going dancing tonight. It's not working for me. I don't like this. I don't like this. And somebody's got to change or change back. So I hope, do hope, and she's very upset with me. Because she's like, I even said I'm depressed. So why are you being negative? I didn't say anything negative. I said reality, that your waist to height ratio is over 0 0.6, and you should probably lose 30 to 50 pounds. Uh, those are all facts and reality. So we're not supposed to tell people that have depression the truth? But, so somehow lying to depressed people is better than telling them the truth. <laughs> because what? Like, grow the fuck up. Start doing some adulting, you know? She was so mad, like so mad yesterday, and I was just like, what the fuck ever? Yeah, this is true, too. Depression is probably from her, from her inflammation. Yeah. No shit, because she looks puffy as fuck. All right, folks, I'll do some Q&A, but by the way, here is where you can get our coaching, three months worth of coaching, six months worth of coaching. Those are amazing deals, by the way. And you can get Pure Blood, which is right here. I just took mine. Oh. And you can get Alchemy and Noah. My Nomo uh, fell in the blood. I do need to take my alchemy right now, Ah, 
Ah. All right. So I will take a whoop, quick question. Did you say yesterday that alchemy could be taken three times a day if needed uh, to curb sweet cravings? You know, I have in the past taken uh, one capsule in the morning, one capsule in the afternoon, and uh, one capsule, uh, one capsule in the uh, in the evening. So, or two capsules in the evening. I've done that before. I've also taken two, two, and two, uh, and it just goes through it a little faster. But it does really help car uh, car uh, carb cravings. But yes, you can. Um, and if your waist height ratio is 0.34, maybe you mean 0 0.43. 0 0.34, I, I, I begin to wonder that maybe you're uh, you're either calculating incorrectly, and I'm not trying to dog on you, Norma, but you're either calculating incorrectly or, very frankly, that's 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 borderline too thin, uh, if you ask me. Yes, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Bexy. Thank you very, very, very much. Oh, here's... Ariel Ferbley, my mom died three months ago. I am so sorry, Ariel. My deepest condolences. Um, I gained 10 pounds from my grieving, depression, and stress. Now uh, I, I'm getting a hold of it. Lost four pounds. Ariel, very, very, very good job. And by the way, here's where you can get our coaching. Um, and let's see. Does alchemy have to be taken in with food? Uh, I take, I, I, don't, I don't eat at all until... Like, I'm getting ready to go make my steak uh, when I'm done talking to you guys. So I haven't eaten yet, and I've taken all my supplements. Now, I'm sure that that's a personal thing. Like, I'm sure that, you know, like different people have different things about that, but I'm fine with it. Uh, I used to get depressed what, uh, whenever I started working out. I used to get depressed whenever I started working out. I realized that I've been take, uh, tanking my hormones because I push my calories too low. Yeah, don't do that. Again, in Brandy, uh, Brandy Danley line, I could help you out with coaching, too. I would agree with this. She should slow down the workouts and go back to dancing. Absolutely would. So, any questions? Any last questions before I wrap this up? Because I've been very buried in a couple big projects that I'm hoping to show you guys within the next couple months. Uh, but very, very, very buried. Um, I have several books I'm writing right now. Uh, and... Did I offer her coaching? But no, but you know what? Since her thought, since her face is in my thumbnail and she is, uh, I am making a video on her. If you are watching this, I'll coach you for six months for free inside an NDA. I'll gladly do that. Gladly, gladly. But uh, like I was I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working on a couple projects, one really major, huge project. So I'm pretty buried uh, in stuff right now. But, I mean, because there's a bunch of other stuff hap that's, that's happened. I mean, shit, me and Lane Norton got into it because for some fucking stupid reason, Lane Norton tagged me about something I said like seven fucking years ago that I said shit afterwards that was even more important to me. It's weird, weird dude fitness bullshit. Like, you know, like, don't, don't, don't mention my name if you don't want the fucking horns, you stupid fucks. Like, Lane, you should fuck. Lane, by the way, you're probably watching this because now you're going to be watching me because you obviously are thinking about me because... You tagged me after seven fucking years when I barely ever fucking remember to even think about who you are. Anyway, but then there's that, and then there's a bunch of other things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, glitter and lasers is tomorrow about her fucking powerlifting and shit like that. Um, so it'll be interesting. They're never going to. They're stuck too stuck in their ways. They are never fucking going to. Yeah, Lane, fucking loser. He's a loser. I mean. He came at me when my biggest problem with him wasn't that, like, as I said, he was probably going to wheelchair himself because he kept hurting him. This is seven years ago because he kept hurting himself squatting. Like the way he has to squat because he has extremely long femurs is he almost has to fold himself in half and then stand back up. So it's horrible on his lower back and he kept hurting himself. And I was like, you're going to fucking, you know, wheelchair yourself and you got young kids. And of course, like, he's like, ha, I, you know, it, I didn't wheelchair myself. You were wrong, Alan Roberts. And my statement was, I'm glad I was wrong because now you get to make money to support your uh, two children. You know, those kids that you were out cheating on their mom when she was at home taking care of the special needs one and pregnant with your other one. You were out cheating on her. Yeah, those kids. The kids are going to hate you when you fucking grow when they fucking grow up and realize how fucking shitty of a person you were to the mom. So, Lane, I mean, if, if that was um, if that was tough, uh, if, if that was tough for you, Lane, I'm sorry, but truth fucking hurts, bitch. Anyway, um. <clears throat> Hey, Alan, off topic, I saw Alexander Rodriguez struck uh, a video of mine from a year ago. I haven't even uploaded in months. Uh, I'm disputing for sure. Definitely dispute that shit. 
Definitely, definitely do that. Now, one more time, folks. Here is where you can get my coaching and GLP-1 booster stack and uh, the pure blood supplement for your heart and to avoid blood clots and to fix any uh, spike protein damage that may have been done from COVID and the experimental gene therapy that was produced by, you know, uh, historically corrupt, uh, corrupt companies and historically corrupt industry that a lot of fucking people took that had no fucking safety data on it over a cold. So um, you can check those things out. I hope to talk to you all later. I might come back on later. I don't know. But like I said, I'm buried in some projects. So I hope you all have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow with glitter and lasers and a few other things. My name is Alan Roberts. Go get my coaching. Go buy Pure Blood and go get the GLP-1 booster stack. Goddamn.